Hey guys, it's Andy here. So I tried this guy out, I finally built him, put him together, and um, I didn't get anything out of that, so <laughs> sticking a bunch of magnesium cores together with glue and putting them into a copper pipe doesn't work. I took the cell apart and you can see the large amount of corrosion that's occurred. I used uh, white vinegar to clean it up a bit and remove all the corrosion and oxidization that was occurring. You can see hydrogen bubbles are coming off of the chemical reaction and it cleans up very nicely as a result. The corrosion is bad but it's not as bad as the Dead Sea Salt cells that I built. This cell here is filled with Dead Sea Salt from Ontario but I did not put any water or vinegar in it so it's been dry for over a week now, a week and a half, and I'm going to take it apart and we can look at the corrosion. This one here, this was Ontario Dead Sea Salt as well, but I put vinegar in it. You can see the corrosion is very heavy. I used uh, white vinegar to clean it up. So currently this cell is putting out 1.326 volts and 320 microamps. Took a lot of work, but I finally cleaned this out. You can see there's very little corrosion on the copper, a little bit of blackening. For a dry cell, I was really hoping to not see this level of corrosion. So you can see heavy, heavy corrosion. And that's without vinegar or water in the cell. This is very disappointing. I was really hoping to see far less corrosion than this. Here you can see 1.36 volts between just vinegar and magnesium. Over 9 milliamps current flow. This is normal tap water. 1.48 volts. 180 microamps. And it does warm up a little bit too. Distilled water, 1.47 volts, 7 milliamps. That's the annoying part about this. I'm getting similar readings between the two of these. I received my 3 quarter inch diameter magnesium cores in the mail today. I'll be doing a few experiments and tests with these in the following weeks. I also bought this magnesium fire starter, so I'll try that out as well, see what results I get. And I bought this uh, pure nickel wire. I'll try that instead of copper and see how it works. I hope this video gave you a few ideas. Hit that like button and subscribe to see more on this in the future. Have a good day.